Hello everyone, Deadeye here, with a video about the new diver propulsion device for Planetside 2. Uh, the first part here is going to be a basic tutorial, and the second part is going to be a bit of data and then some bots. So let's get to it. Uh, first, I want to preface this by mentioning all the following details are subject to change, of course, in future patches. I'll try to remember to pin a comment with any important changes down below. Okay? Now... The diver propulsion device needs to be unlocked with certs. It's found in the tactical slot and costs 50 certs. It's available for all classes to use except light assaults and maxes. The device allows you to zip around underwater at a faster speed for a total of 14 seconds at that first unlock level. Subsequent levels cost 100, 150, 200, and 500 certs respectively and each level adds another second longer of travel time. Since it's a tactical slot item, it acts as one item across all available classes. It doesn't need to be invested into for each class. I recommend getting the first level unlock pretty early for new players, as is it's not that expensive. Also, you're going to find yourself on Osher sometimes, and Osher now has a number of areas where you will fight underwater for control of bases. And it's a different experience, and I personally find it a fun one. After that first unlock, it's not really important to invest more certs into the propulsion device until really you have certs to burn. After all, it costs 950 certs for just four more seconds of use time. Also, right now, Osher is really the only place to use it. Esimir does have some water, but there really isn't any focus on fighting there. Other continents will get water eventually, though. Anyways, once you have it unlocked, you're gonna want to know how to use it. So, drop into water and let's take it for a spin. To use, simply have it selected and press spacebar. If you are not holding any other direction keys, you'll move upwards vertically. If you press a direction key, you'll seize vertical movement and start proceeding in the direction you pressed. You can stagger your key presses and you can move in a diagonal manner, kind of like tracing along stairs. Note, you don't need to be on the ocean floor to use the device. You can start as soon as you're submerged. In some situations, you might find that it's easier to reach your objective by skimming just below the water and gliding over enemies, then skimming along the surface. Just note that you don't move the same speed in every direction. Similar to running on ground, strafing and stepping backwards is slower than forwards. And that's the basics of it. Uh, go out and practice it, get in fights, get used to how it feels. You are quite vulnerable while flying around with it out. Fortunately, there's no tactical slot hotkey, so you'll probably resort to what I do, which is simply using the mouse wheel to quickly switch to your primary weapon as soon as an enemy appears. As always, go and have fun out there with Planetside 2. Oh, also, uh, pressing fire or um, mouse 1 uh, while the propulsion device is selected just brings it up to your face. Nothing else seems to happen. Right! So, onto the data I said I had, uh, I wanted to calculate the speed and travel distance of the propulsion device. So, I used what little of high school geometry I remember, the hypotenuse. Right, so I set a waypoint on my player, which gave me the vertical leg of a right angled triangle. That's because waypoints are actually at the water surface. Then, I traveled across the sea floor until the propulsion ran out. With the waypoint still in its original spot, that gave me the hypotenuse. I do some reverse Pythagoras, which gives you the horizontal leg of the triangle, which is equal to the distance in this case. Uh, I calculated that at max level, that is the 18 seconds, uh, you cover about 161 meters across the sea floor. 161 over 18 comes out to a rate of about 8.9 meters per second. Now, I'm no scientist, so I'm going to say all of that is an approximation. 
you know, there's uh, surface variations on, on the water surface, you know? It's okay. Look, I don't know if anyone else has done that, but that's the information I got. I hope it matches up with them. Uh, but there you go. Anyways, I don't think I made any mistakes there. As for my thoughts on the diver propulsion device, um, as one of the people that asked for something like the device, pretty much as soon as I got a taste of the water physics in this game, I want to say that I like it a lot. I think it's, it feels a lot like you expect, which is a good testament to the developers. And I think it adds a very enjoyable to use element in the new kind of fighting that is underwater bases on Osher. The bases seem to integrate the idea of the propulsion device really well. And I want to see some more of it. I just wish it was less clunky to use. Other folks have said it should just control like the jetpack. That is, you just use the spacebar. You don't have to select anything. I'm not going to disagree with that idea. Seems pretty fine to me. But I think by simply adding a tactical slot hotkey, uh, that would go a long way to alleviate any clunkiness with using the propulsion device. I don't know if there is another reason, perhaps, why we don't have a tactical slot hotkey. If there isn't any, I think it's something that should be added. Me, I might go a little more crazy and further out there and say maybe the jetpack should be moved into the tactical slot and all classes could use them. Crazy idea. Maybe even make them kind of class, you know, specific and characters. Like if you're a medic and you're activating your theoretical jetpack maybe your your nanite heel has a greater range or something i don't know that's a little crazy out there i didn't put that in the script i wrote i'm just thinking about it right now hey that's gonna be it for me i guess um i hope you're all enjoying this little video if you are please subscribe i have daily uploads on this channel but it's mostly let's play content and gameplay demonstrations I do Planetside 2 content whenever there is something to cover, basically. What do you think about the diver propulsion device? Please leave a comment. If you have any ideas on maybe class-specific jetpack use, hey, leave a comment. It helps the engagement. That's it for me. Hope you all enjoyed. Hope to see you all soon. Bye-bye now.